It never ceases to amaze me how many talented people we have here on Delmarva, and it's always cool to see some of the things they create. Oh yeah, and Delmarva Life Sean Stryker spent some time with one local artist who's creating works of art on an unusual canvas, the bottom of skateboards. Skateboards are probably best known as something kids ride around on for fun, and while they may have designs on them, they're probably not something you want hanging up in your home. That is, until now. I mean, I'll paint on anything, anything that's flat and able to take paint to it. But I think maybe just like a skate background, just like the culture is really interesting. Nadine Brittingham says she's always enjoyed painting, but it wasn't until high school that she really got serious about her art. I started pretty late in high school, and I decided right before senior year that I wanted to go to an art college. So I pursued that, and dropped my other plans, and went to art school in Wilmington at DCAD. And it was while she was in art school that she discovered skate deck art. I started the skateboard art maybe my second year of college, and uh, there was a gallery in Ocean City, Maryland that had previously done skate deck art. So I went in there and I asked, you know, how do I get involved in this? And, and I'd like to pursue going towards this direction. And uh, they just gave me a blank skate deck and said, go to town, have it back by this date. That's the gallery. <laughs> So uh, that was my very first one. That was of like a bunch of octopus uh, tentacles just kind of wrapping around each other. So I used a lot of like greens and reds and tried to get a lot of depth of field just to get a neat looking graphic. I just wanted to think of what would look good as a skate deck graphic, but I think since my very first one, I've moved more towards what would look good as wall art. She's also moved away from paint and now uses a computer to construct intricate designs that get engraved on the bottom of the skateboard. Now I am drawing out what I want to use and then also incorporating graphic elements like half tones or depth of field. Then I'm going to an engraver and getting them laser engraved. So it's actually um, taking out different layers of the deck and then I stain them so that it really pops between the uh, the original skate deck color and the areas that are burned will take on any of the stains that I put on them. And when it comes to those designs, Nadine says she just likes to create something that she thinks looks interesting. And by taking a look at her arm, I'm sure you could guess one of her biggest influences. I get a lot of like my influences from tattoo culture and tattoo art. So a lot of my stuff like falls under what would be called neo-traditional work, which is like taking traditional elements of tattooing and incorporating them with maybe like some graphic elements or just drawing them in a new way. That neo-traditional feel can be seen in one of her newest designs in which she's collaborating with another local artist who actually makes the skate decks. He created a deck that was a really interesting shape and I had a design in mind. I was like, no, no, it's not the right design. This board needs something that matches the shape of the board. So I. Uh, drew up some graphics and I kind of gave it like a, maybe a little bit of a Native American feel and took it to the laser engraver and now we're in the uh, staining stage of it. And while this deck is still a work in progress, Nadine says seeing the final product is what she really enjoys. I like to be able to see the end result. Like when I'm done with something, I know that I liked it and it's completed and I can physically see like what I've been working on so hard. And Jimmy, that skateboard that Nadine was working on is going to be auctioned off and the money raised is going to be used toward a new skate park. Wow. How about that? And if you want to see some of her artwork in person, all you need to do is go to downtown Salisbury's third Friday events.